once again, this little girl is tremendous on balance beam. One of the most difficult exercises that I've ever seen in a combination tumbling pass that will take your breath away. Here's Here the long goes. tumbling yeah. pass Tim's talking about. This is unbelievable. Watch this. Oh. Oh. It's like she's tumbling on the floor. That is just crazy hard. Beautiful. just figured that she should put me in gym like really early on. I started when I was three. I think I was always like a crazy like kid. I guess I would like play upside down under tables and like with toys. I loved gymnastics like always. You couldn't get me out of the gym. Just like mess around all the time. We had a beam in the house, so I would always be on that. Yeah, so I like pretty much have always loved gymnastics. For Caitlin, I know she was really excited about this routine because she said she even gets to smile a little bit in the middle. <laughs> I like to perform. Dismount double pike. I like competing. That like that always gave me like joy. It's just like funny because still to this day, like although competing so nerve wracking, like it's still one of my favorite parts. I moved uh, from my hometown, Seattle, when I was nine years old to pursue my elite career. And so that was like really tough at first. Like I would like cry myself to sleep. Like um, I think you have to grow up really fast. So I would go to school like for a couple hours a day and then leave early so I could go practice and get enough time in. And then eventually I started homeschooling because I didn't have enough time for school. when I called Miss Val my junior year of high school and she was like when was the last time you were happy and I was like I like literally can't remember so I was like I think it had to have been before I went leave. it's hard when you're just 12 because you haven't like grown up like you're put under this like microscope where everything you do is seen and you kind of have to adapt to that so it's just like I always loved gymnastics so there was still that like love for the sport it just had kind of like diminished like too quick. I like didn't know if I was ever gonna do gymnastics again. And I called Miss Val, I was like, you said it was the only school that I knew of. Madison Koshin, who I trained with, was going there and she told me how great it was all the time. So I'm like, I think I'm just gonna try this out. Like I think UCLA sounds great. Like Miss Val seems awesome. So I was like, this is the only school that I'm interested in. Plus it's California. So I just wanted to give her a call and try to get back in the gym and like pursue my next career path. This is a fun routine. Front full, front half. There it is. Do a split jump. <laughs> wow. UCLA just went lights out. I think what I love being about here most is like you have a team to support you and that's something I had never experienced before. So it's like when you don't want to do it for yourself, you think of the rest of the team and you have to do it for them. And to have those coaches that like truly care about you is something that was like amazing to witness. I think college gymnastics has taught me that like it's okay to like have fun and smile in gymnastics. Like it's so much fun to like, like you don't have to be serious in order to do well. And that's something that was like almost ingrained in my head before. And so it's like, that's what I love about like dancing around here and like being able to go and like change my face and compete and like, you know, and still do fine of weird because you've always had this identity as a gymnast right and as much as you try to say that like that's not you like I'm, I'm not a gymnast like I do gymnastics but that is something that takes up like our whole life I probably won't ever be able to like touch a mat again after I'm done or I won't be competing anymore and that's something that like you have to find a new identity almost I feel like I'll be going through a transition year where I'm unidentified and like I'm trying to find that, kind of have to find what I'm like really, really passionate about, kind of explore different like areas and try to get a head start in life.